Lee Chaolan is a strong counter hit based character with enough variety in his toolkit to allow him to effortlessly adapt to different engagements. Because we want to make sure we interrupt our opponents, we will use fast poking attacks to limit the number of moves our opponent can utilize. If our pokes are successful, we will have an extreme frame advantage where if our opponent attempts to return the blow, we may capitalize with a powerful counter hitting tool. Because our pokes are very safe on guard, we can properly defend ourselves from retaliation against even the quickest rebuttals. If our opponent starts to try to use their slower attacks after our pokes, or if we abuse the frame advantage of say a standing one jab on block, we may still be able to counter hit them with a string such as 223. Combine this with the extreme evasiveness of down 3 and its powerful counter hitting nature, the opponent will quickly come to respect our pace. The speed at which we recover using back 4, alongside the range and its game changing counter hitting properties, make this a cornerstone of Lee's gameplay. This move cannot be used enough. To increase the tracking nature of back 4, we may hold down 4 and then press 3 to cancel into Hitman's stance, enhancing our rebuttal opportunities. Speaking of Hitman's stance, when we first begin our lead journey, focusing on Hitman 3, Hitman 1 plus 2, and Hitman down forward 4 are enough to keep us busy while we learn the character. Even though 1 plus 2 and back back 4 are our homing moves, back 4 can often be used as a pseudo substitute. Lee has powerful whiff punishing options in the form of forward forward 3 and back 1 1 2, which has a just frame timing of this. Just do back 1 2 1 2 and you should be good. Acid Storm is your launching whiff punisher and even if you mess up you can just end it early with a 4 or just stop pressing buttons for a chance to get off scot free. To strengthen Lee's mid-range game and present a threat to our opponent's lower guard, we have access to a knockdown low in the form of a slide. This move is very powerful and the quicker we can perform it, the more threatening it becomes. You can play a bit dirty and utilise other mid-range moves for a pseudo mix-up, but it's important to not get too predictable. If we need to begin mounting our offence, we can use 1-1-2 and then cancel it or continue or use while running 3-4 as a powerful approach tool, yet being too obvious with its implementation will get you stepped and punished. Lee has a reputation for having some difficult stuff, but when there is a tough combo or pickup, there is most often a slightly weaker yet simplified alternative. This combo strikes the best balance between damage and wall carry. but this combo is good enough to get you going. And this is a flexible wall combo to act as a starting point. Here are all of your standing punishments. I personally like to go for Wild Rising 2-3 as the option even if I think I'm going to miss the extension because I have good frame advantage and Okazeme. Bonus tip, Lee's command grab leads into forward 3 plus 4 for some extra guaranteed damage. Enjoy!